There is a woman that I message every so often. And she had a pretty bad life. And she have done some bad things as well. But from what she have told me, she told me when she started to live for God, it seems like attacks are coming toward her so much. Even with my life. When I was in sin, yes, I had my problems, the things that I went through. But when I started to follow the rules, the rules and regulations of God and the Bible, and the more that I increase in God, it seems like so much more is happening. So much more. And I never would have even dreamed in a thousand years that the things that are happening to me now would ever happen to me. Not in a thousand years. I know sometimes, and I don't really do it as much now, I would tell some people about some things that I would go through. And the first thing a person will say, well, are you in sin? <laughs> and <laughs> when I hear that, it makes me not <laughs> want to tell certain people anything, you know? Am I in sin? And I tell them, when I was in great sin, like at the top of my sin board, I did not go through this at all. Anyways. And I will hear this from other people as well about when they begin to serve God, so many bad things are happening now. You may be trying to serve God now. And you may be wondering, why are so many bad things happening to me now, now that I have made my mind up to serve God? Why are bad things happening to me now? What is going on? Well, when you begin to serve God, the hammer is going to be thrown at you, figuratively speaking. Not a literal hammer, but problems. And the more that you elevate in God, the larger the hammer is going to become. That is just the way that things are going to be. When you hear about people who operate in God's power in a great way, you have to know that they may not speak about it. They may not talk about it or advertise it, but they go through so much mess. They would have to think about it. If you are fighting against Satan's kingdom, if you are fighting against an enemy's kingdom and you are breaking down the walls and you are tearing things up, what do you believe your enemy is going to do? They are going to fight back. Demons want all of us to come to hell because they have authority over hell. Demons don't have authority over this earth per se. Full authority. They have full authority over hell, but not on earth. Because if they had all authority, 
full authority over Earth, every human would be dead now, <laughs> by now. So if you are fighting against their plan, because they want all of us to come to hell, to stay in hell. So if you give your life to God and try to get to heaven, what do you believe demons are going to do? They are going to try their best to discourage you from taking that route to God. That is why it seems like more problems come to you when you begin to serve God. It is supposed to be that way. Some people believe that while they are living on earth, that they believe that things are going to be okay. Everything is going to be perfect. Everyone is going to be peaceful toward them. There will be no corruption. Everything is going to be fine. Some people believe that is going to happen on earth with demons on earth. The life that you are seeking for is a life in heaven. Only in heaven is there going to be peace. While demons are living among us, there is not going to be any peace. So that peace that you are seeking for, you are going to get that if you get to heaven. So while you are on earth, while demons are here, bad things are going to continue to happen to you. That is just the way that things are going to be. Of course, you can fight back against it, but problems are going to come your way. So when you begin to live for God, expect bad things to happen. Of course, you can pray against demons and stuff like that, but it should not be a weird thing to you for bad things to happen to you. Like, why are so many bad things happening to me? Well, are you serving God? <laughs> I pray that this makes sense. So, if you hear a person, let me say this, my Lord. Let me put this pen on my ear. If it will stay on there. <laughs> no, it won't. If you hear a person say, let me place it here. Okay, if you hear a person say that they don't have any problems with demons, that demons don't really attack them, like everything is okay and everything is fine, they sleep very well and no demons mess with them and mess with their thoughts, be very cautious of that person. Because demons are going to attack people that are attacking them or who is serving God. So if they say that demons are not a problem to them, more than likely nine times out of ten, I guarantee you that that person may be in sin or they are some type of witch or some person that is trying to deceive you. Because people that I know that serve God, they are going through it. So what are the odds that this one person or these few people, I don't have any problems with demons. No, something is wrong with that person. This person is not serving God or something. I'm serious. Even the people who are beginning to serve God are having problems. So how is this random person not going to have problems with demons? I pray that makes sense there. So be careful of people who say crazy stuff like that. Because my eyes get really big when a person says they don't have problems with demons. I'm like, what? <laughs> 
be very cautious of them. Well, Kevin, you know, I watch TV and I never hear these big time preachers speak about demons and how to fight against demons, so on and so on. That should tell you something. <laughs> okay, let me stop here. God bless.